Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, yeah. So I'm really excited for today's video because I'm coming at you with a what's in my Gymshark duffel bag. If you guys have been following me for a while, you would know that I did a what's in my gym bag like a few months ago, but I have to say something. I'm gonna keep you guys in the know. I had a Nike duffel bag that I loved. James got it for my birthday. I brought it as an overnight bag to my parents' house and one of their cats peed all over my bag. They marked their territory. All right, your girl was so mad. So I had to get a new duffel bag. I figured do a whole new updated what's in my gym bag because since my last video, I have been mixing up my workout routine like no other girl. So I got a lot of new things, new essentials that I bring with me at all times. So, so guys, this is the duffel bag. It's freaking beautiful. We got the Gymshark Legacy logo on the front, that old fashioned logo. I'm a huge fan of that. I love it. The black and gray is really, really nice. I love that heavy contrast. It's a huge duffel. I mean, really, look at this. That's a really big duffel bag. I'm gonna right off the bat say that it's super, super heavy duty and durable. I can feel it. It is a no joke kind of duffel bag, but there's not that many compartments. I'm gonna throw that out there. It's the only downfall. It's only got like a couple. Your girl likes a lot, but I figure, you know what? I don't care, whatever. All right guys, so. Let's see what we got going on in here. So let's start with the little baby compartment right here, shall we? Girlfriend, let me tell you something. I don't go anywhere in life without my chapsticks. Nowhere. I have this green tea mint chapstick that I've been using, but I have to be honest with you, it dries my lips out. <laughs> so I have a backup chapstick. I don't mess around. I'm addicted to chapstick, followed by my gum. Sometimes my pre-workout is just, you know, leaving that taste in my mouth, girl. So, I gotta chew on the Trident. I love Trident, okay? My mom got me into this. Trident's delicious, peppermint to be exact. All right, let's move on to the more fun stuff. Chapstick's cool and all, but we got some talking to do. So what I love about the duffel bag is that it came with two little baby lanyards. Two little baby Gymshark lanyards that you can take right off like this you can put your keychains on your little gym card whatever you know i could snap my keys right on easy access i love it i love it so i just a couple of weeks ago got this gym shark beanie and i've been living in it it's been raining slash snowing non-stop here in pa getting my hair all wet i don't like trying to work out with wet head do you so i have been wearing this in and out of the gym it's super super duper cute like gray black hay matches my gym bag and my outfit. Like I said in one of my previous videos, I'm loving like the gym beanie look since all I wear is activewear. It just goes with everything. Gray is a really nice neutral color. Yes. I have my barbell pad, absolute essential. I have a few different gym memberships. One gym doesn't carry this at all. They don't have barbell pads. Another one has just a select few, so you best hope that you get your hands on it before someone else does, or you're gonna be waiting in line. And your girl, she don't, she don't, she don't wait in line. She, when she wants to work out, she gotta work out, you know what I'm saying? That pre-workout don't wait for nobody. Got this baby on Amazon, I love it. Super easy, no Velcro, just slide it on your barbell. And for the longest time I tried to go without, but if you're starting to go heavy with weights like me, those hip thrusts, you are gonna bruise up your stuff, girl. So. Barbell pad, always, always and forever. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it going with the equipment thing. This resistance band actually went with that barbell pad on Amazon, like a whole little kit of goodies. This resistance band, it's from the brand Gymletics, is no joke, it's such a heavy resistance band. Gosh, these I use on heavy booty day, I'm not gonna lie, it's, this alone is like a, <clears throat> It's intense, it's got the grip lining, and it just screams 
death to your booty, because that's what it is. You want to kill your booty? Use this resistance band. I got some more resistance bands. You guys saw this in my active favorites. The NYX fitness bands are awesome because you got light, medium, and heavy. They're really heavy duty, beautiful bands. Grip lining as well. And I really love the fabric bands because Latex and I, we're not friends. We don't like each other. No. I use these for glute activation, squatting, just to have that little extra resistance. Your girl's been doing nothing but heavy, progressive overload, compound lifting, all that. So I never used to bring these with me and I can't even believe that that was a point in time. I use them nonstop now, every single booty day, without a doubt. This also went with my barbell pad, these ankle straps. I go to a gym that has nothing but tethered, worn out ankle straps. Girl, I tried to do kickbacks once with that tethered crap. Shame on me for even attempting. It snapped off in the weight, like just slammed down. Mad, unwanted attention, and it was really just embarrassing. And I never want that to happen again, or to anybody for that matter. So I'm bringing my own ankle straps from here on out. Your girl, she can't be bothered with tethered, worn out equipment. No, these have been awesome. They are heavy freaking duty. I love these. Last but not least for equipment, I got my Element 26 belt. I got this off of Amazon, love it. It's got a safety lock so it doesn't just come snap it off of you. This is high quality, durable. I don't use it all the time, but when I go really, really heavy with weight, especially compound exercises, need this to keep my core nice and stable. When you go heavy, especially like with barbells and stuff, a lot of the pressure is on your lower back or your midsection in general. This just kind of helps keep you stable. Just the slightest movement and being a little bit unsteady can really mess your stuff up, believe me. So this has been a really nice help and I only use it really on the heavy, heavy lifting days. So, yes. All right. <laughs> I did not break them, it sounded like I broke them, but I didn't. Beats Baby Beats. Ew, what's on these beats? <laughs> God. This is my pre-workout, because it's red. There's red juice on it. I'm disgusting. So these are my beats. They're looking cruddier by the day. I don't like putting them in the little beat sack. <laughs> beat sack. Am I the only one who just can't seem to like fit it back in? Like the second I took them out, they just never made it back in that bag. They're too big. Don't know. Maybe it expanded with my head somehow. Let's see. Okay. I think I have another few of these hanging around somewhere in here. Yeah. Guys, I get so hungry at the gym all the time. I'm hungry before the gym, I'm hungry during the gym, and after the gym. I'm always hungry. And guys, I have been lean bulking lately, or at least really trying, so I need to keep nourished at all times, girl. You know what I'm saying? I need to keep fueled. So, been loving these pure protein, protein bars. 20 grams per bar, they're super delicious. They have so many different flavors, they're all pretty good. The chocolate versions are, they're okay, but oh my God, is there strawberry and blueberry to die for. I just got this flavor recently and I've been literally addicted. So it's really good, you don't wanna go bonkers at the gym as my dad calls it, which is just you getting super fatigued and almost passing out. You need to keep, you need to keep sustained, all right, girl? Pure protein for the win. Mm. Okay, guys, last but not least, I do have a little thing of toiletries. I don't really use them often, but they're there because if I don't bring it, I will need it. That's just how life works, you know? I got this, oh, I love the smell of this so much. The Batiste Dry Shampoo for brunettes up at the roots, you know, your girl gets mad greasy after the gym when she's sweating, she got that greasiness going on here. I don't really have a life, but if by chance I do have to go out afterwards, this keeps me feeling fresh to death. Batiste has the best smelling dry shampoo, and I've tried a lot of different brands. This brand has, it does it for me, it works. It makes me at least have another day or two where I don't have to wash my hair, you know. Um, next, oh, you know, your girl's gotta have a portable deodorant. I like things in mini size, 
travel size. This is actually Old Spice Swagger. Feminine, like female type of deodorants, they don't work for these pits. No. I need to go full on male deodorant. Hey, it's free world, I'm gonna use whatever deodorant works for my stank. I got the idea because I started using James's deodorant. I ran out of mine, I was in a pinch. I used his deodorant and I realized, oh my goodness, I don't, I don't reek. <laughs> so ever since then, I started buying Old Spice. Mm -hmm. That's how I do, and I'm never looking back, girl. I actually tried um, natural deodorant that was literally like quadruple the price of normal deodorant, and although I really loved the fact that it was natural, it's definitely, it was natural because I, I smelled really freaking bad. So, getting down to the nitty gritty, y'all. I got my little baby hair ties here. I bring these everywhere with me in case I want to put my little braids in, something like that. Not really that important or fun. I just, and my portable little baby perfume, Victoria's Secret, guys. It's in the scent pink gold. Have you have you smelled this perfume? It's like a light perfume. It's not like a heavy duty perfume. I don't wear like this crazy potent perfume to the gym, but it's like right in between. It wants to be a body spray, but it wants to be a perfume. It's like they had a, a baby and it's pink gold spray. It's, I think it's one of the best smells I've ever smelled in my life. That's a little crazy to say but I'm confident enough to say it. It's really freaking good. It has amber crystals and a vanilla in it. So you can get a sense of the scent. Oh, and one last thing, my Nike headband. Okay, this is for days where I put my hair up in a ponytail, but I got nothing but baby hairs just taken over the whole place. They're just everywhere up in my face, in my grill. I, I can't work out like that. That just keeps my hair all patted down so I don't look like a damn fool. And it's got a grip in it too. It's got grip so it's not only sliding back, you know? It just slips off your head while you're working out. Falls off your head, nobody likes that. So Nike knows what's up. Got a huge duffel, lots of space. There's only one little baby compartment in here. And I got my Advil liquid gels for those sporadic unwanted headaches, okay? You don't wanna have to leave the gym. Always have to come prepared. All right guys, so that was it. That was what's in my Gymshark duffel bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you guys a little bit of ideas for what to bring for your next gym session. Definitely don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.